Hello and welcome to a new episode of Trains Out and the first one for 2024 and we're kicking the things off as per the norm with an annual visit to Stafford on the West Coast Main Line. We're seeing services from Atlantic West Coast, London North Western Railway, Cross Country and various freight as well. Uh, disappearing into the sunshine is a GBRF Class 66 giving it the guns just taking off from a red light going from Tunstead Sidings to Banbury with a loaded ballast train. Uh, there was a West Woodlands Railway Class 730 just rolling through as I was getting myself sorted. As I was driving over the bridge to park up, there was an Avanti West Coast 805 coming through on one of their various tests. Uh, the 730 is going from uh, Wolverhampton to no, it's, good, it's doing Soho to Wolverhampton, so it's doing some sort of weird, wonderful route. Um, yeah, Stafford is always one of those stations I enjoy coming to because you never quite know what you're going to see. I can happily report it's freezing cold, but uh, with the sun out at the moment, it's just taking the edge off and it is quite pleasant. There was also uh, a Vanity West Coast 390-119, the Pride Pendolino, in platform Uno earlier. And that was leaving as I was walking onto the platform. So, with that all being said and done, let us see what else shall turn up. Okay, the next train to make an appearance in the sunshine is going to be a cross-country Voyager 221139. Working the 1033 service from Bournemouth to Manchester Piccadilly. Okay, the next train to make an appearance is going to be a DRS Class 60, uh, 68, even, you burk, get it right. Uh, running light from Crew Cresty Bridge to Daventry. Oh, I love some of that, that sounds gorgeous. 68008. Avenger. Love it. Okay, the next train to make an appearance is going to be the 1035 London North Western Railway service to crew from London Euston. Three fifty one two three leading the way. And then you've got the ten thirty two up there going from crew to London Euston. Right, well I'll get the number of this 350 unit when she leaves, it'll be a 352, that much I can tell you, but beyond that, not much else. You've also got 350 257 leading the service to London Euston. Okay, departing now is the 1032 London North Western Railway service from Crewe to London Euston. So it's 257 leading, and it'll be another two series on the back. 239. Okay, then departing now is the 1035 at London Northwestern Railway service to Crew. Two six seven is on the rear. Okay, the next train to make an appearance is going to be the ten thirty nine London Northwestern Railway service. 
from Crewe to Birmingham New Street works by 350 404. And there's another 350 over there that's going to be doing a service starting here at Stafford to Crewe. Okay. There goes 39148 working a service to London Euston. I'm not entirely sure where she's from. I was in the process of uh, whacking on a, <laughs> some gloves. So, uh, didn't have a chance to check what was coming through next. But I'll, uh, I'll find out its destination uh, hopefully in the next, next clip for you, assuming I can get my other glove on in time. Okay, the next parting is 3.54.04 with the 10.39 London North Western Railway service to Birmingham New Street. The 3.90 was running from Liverpool to London Euston. Hello. There goes 7.32.06 and 7.32.05. I'd hazard a guess that's doing the Nuneaton to Crewe runs. Very nice to see indeed. Okay, the next train drive is going to be the 1047 of Anti-West Coast service from London Euston to Edinburgh Waverley. Worked by Lovely job. Okay, the next train to pass by is going to be another of anti West Coast class 390 Pendolino running from London Euston to Glasgow Central going via the Trent Valley route. And that'll be worked by 390 130. Okay, then about ready to depart should be the 1047 of Anti West Coast service to Edinburgh Waverley. Next calling point will be Crewe. Okay, the next train to arrive is going to be the 1052 of Anti West Coast service from Manchester Piccadilly to London Euston, worked by a nine car Pendolino. So, gliding her way in is 390.010. Nicely done. Okay, the next round to make an appearance is going to be the 10.50... Yeah, 10.50 of anti-west coast service from London Euston to Manchester Piccadilly, having gone via the Trent Valley route. And this is worked by 390128.
city of Preston. I will try and get the nameplates of any and all trains that I see throughout the course of the day where possible. In case you're wondering, the 66 I filmed at the start of the show was called Amanda. Okay, then about ready to part now, it's going to be the 1050 Avanti West Coast service to London Euston as the 1050, sorry, to Manchester Piccadilly as the 1052 to London Euston has gone. Hello. Hello, Collis Rail 56094. I haven't seen you for about a year. How are you? Doing the Longport 2 Crew Bass Hall. That's here nice and early. Oh, hello, there's a 70 on the other end. Oh, well, I'm going up there then. Ordinarily, 094 is left to do this on her own little merry ways. So if she's got a 70 on the receiving end of this, then, uh, well, I'd best be moving up to the top end of the platform to go and have a little look-see. Okay, the next train to pass through will be another Avanti West Coast Class 390 Pendolino running from Glasgow Central to London Euston. And that is worked by 39123. And then over here we have Collis Rail 7810. So, from the sounds of things, or from the looks of things, it's running dead on the rear. But then I'm assuming it's going to be fired up with the 56 then being turned off. I would assume. Well, I'm assuming that because the 70 is dead at the moment, but uh, they may keep the 56 alive uh, when this thing gets taken back out. I mean, I'd, <laughs> that'd be a nice little combination. A 70 and an 86. 86? 56 even, you blithering idiot. Mind you, an 86 in College Rail delivery. Wouldn't say no to that. Right, well, as I get my units confused, here we have incoming the 1101 cross country service from Manchester Piccadilly to Bristol Temple Meads, worked by 220028. I mean, whilst it's lovely standing in the sun, it's taking the edge out of the cold. It's rather in the wrong spot for filming anything south. Oh well. Okay, well I believe 7810 is about to kick into life. Mind you, someone needs to answer the bell. Oh, hello. Here comes the 1103 cross-country service from Plymouth to Manchester Piccadilly. Oh, there we are. Someone's someone's answered the bell. Probably good. Well done. I'll get the number for the Voyager when she leaves. Oh. That seemed rather easy. Most trains sort of give a bit of a... Clear their throat as they kick into life, but... 70 was like, oh, God, if I must. Ooh. Ooh, it smells nice, actually, I must say. Okay, we're about ready to depart now. It's going to be the 1103 cross country service to Manchester Piccadilly as uh, 7810 is getting a lovely bit of revving going on. This is 220001. Now, that is due to head off to Crew Bass Hall at 11.25. So, we'll see if it gets let out early or if it sticks to its timetable. Okay, the next train to pass through is going to be one of West Midlands Railway's newest toys, going from Crew to Wolverhampton. This should be one of the 7.30s. And I have to say, they do look smart. Seven thirty double oh five. And 
and then we do an about turn here to find 39006 approaching a red light as she is working the London Euston to Liverpool Lime Street service. And now we must wait. Oh, in fact, the light had just changed, so yep, there's the pop, there's the hiss. And away she goes. Next calling point for that service will be crew. Rethink mental illness. Okay, the next train to make an appearance is going to be the 1111 London Northwestern Railway service from Birmingham New Street to Liverpool Lime Street, worked by 35401. Of course, the 4 series being the former Trans Pennine units. Okay, then about ready to depart now should be the 1111 London Northwestern Railway service to Liverpool Lime Street. Away she goes, she has been out early on good behaviour. Six zero zone there, fifty six zero nine four ticking away on the back. You love to see it. Okay, the next train to arrive is going to be the 1114 uh, London, no, it's bound for London Euston, you've got, that, you've got the London bit right, <laughs> of anti-west coast service from Hollyhead to London Euston, worked by one of their five car super voyagers. Enjoy these while you can, as uh, they will soon be replaced. Personally, I don't truly understand the hate that these units get, I've got no complaints with them, I think they're fantastic. So anyway, this is 221108. I think they're very comfortable, very smooth. I've had no issues with any Voyager, be it the Standard or the Super. But we all like different things, that's what makes us unique. Okay, the now is 221108 with the 1114 Avanti West Coast service to London Euston.
Okay, the next train to make it to Paris is going to be the 1121 cross country service from Manchester Piccadilly to Bournemouth with a fair amount of people waiting to board this four car service. So, rolling her way in is 221136. One day, I will understand why they stick four car trains on very, very long distance cross country services. But today is not that day. Okay, and the next train to make an appearance is going to be the 1124 of Anti West Coast service from Glasgow Central to London Euston. We have not so many people waiting to board this service. Mind you, we had the Voyager leaving not three minutes before this turned up, so... Wouldn't mind betting that service is still relatively full, though. So working this will be 390.155. Right, well that beeping indicates to me that 221136 is about ready to head off with the 1121 cross country service to Bournemouth with its next calling point being Wolverhampton. And there should be a freight train immediately after this. Away she goes. Okay then, about ready to depart now is going to be the 11.24 of Anti-West Coast service to London Euston. And this will be going via Birmingham New Street. There's the pop. There's the hiss. And there's the wine. Railway Benefit Fund. God, do the railways need some funding at the moment. Good Lord. The railways are in a worse estate now than they ever have been. They really are. Okay, then the next freight train to pass through is going to be a DB Cargo UK Class 66 going from Trafford Park Euro Terminal to Southampton West Docks Berth 109. Still wearing its former EWS colour scheme. Much like most of the DB fleet. Sad news that they have of course retired their fleet of Class 60s. 66.177 for this. Really going for it.
fully loaded. Great to see. Okay, the next train to pass through is going to be another West Midlands Railway Class 730 EMU going from Soho to Wolverhampton. Then we've got incoming the 1124 of anti West Coast service from London, Euston to Chester, worked by a pair of two to one Super Voyagers. Leading the way is 221117. with 221118 on the rear. was a cross-country service that will be bound for Manchester Piccadilly. It sounds like our 730s are back off again. Okay, then about ready to depart now will be the late running 11.24 of Anti-West Coast service to Chester. As there is 352.67 leading in the 11.32 London Northwestern Railway service from Crewe to London Euston. I'll get the rear set when she leaves, as that is the 1133 cross country service from Bournemouth to Manchester Piccadilly, which is now departing. And then you had 350.117, which turned up about 20 odd minutes ago, uh, just doing shuttle runs from Crewe to Stafford and back. Okay then, about ready to depart now is going to be the 11.32 London Northwestern Railway service to London Euston. <laughs> Same to you. Whenever, there we go. Fair few people on board. One, two, three brings up the rear. Okay, 
Okay, the next train to arrive is going to be the 1139 London Northwestern Railway service from Liverpool Lime Street to Birmingham New Street, worked by 350... 233. Nicely done. Okay, the next train to come barreling through is another 390 Pendolino. eleven, heading towards London Euston with the service from Liverpool Lime Street. And we're then going to have another West Midlands Railway Class 730, or a duo of 730s coming through. Going from Soho to Crewe with 730.017 leading. And 010 on the rear. Lovely. As we're now about to have the 11.39 London Northwestern Railway service to Birmingham New Street departing. Okay, rather sneaking its way in here is 350.375 with a late running 11.35. London Northwestern Railway service from Crewe to London Euston, Vic Hall, as you do. And we've got another 350 on the rear, it's 350.112. A few people on board, but nothing tremendous. We're just running, what, nine minutes late. It'll be ten minutes late by the time it gets itself going again. Okay, the next train to make an appearance from underneath the sunshine is going to be the 1147 of Anti-West Coast Service to Glasgow Central, worked by 39154. First class in this service, almost entirely empty. OK, the next train to pass by is going to be another Avanti West Coast Class 390 Pendolino running from London Euston to Glasgow Central, having gone via the Trent Valley route, whereas the 390 next to me has come via Birmingham New Street. This is worked by 390 153. Okay, about ready to depart now, knocking on the door of what, 12 minutes late, is going to be the 11.35 London Northwestern Railway service to Crewe. As 390.043 has appeared next to us, working the 10, sorry, the 10.52, you'll be lucky, 11.52 of anti-West Coast service from Manchester Piccadilly to London Euston. I was banking on there, being a Allerton Depot to Newport Sims Group scrap move, courtesy of Rail Operations Group, but it appears to have not materialised. Last time I checked, um, it was just stuck at... Um, oh, oh, I can't think of the station. Oh, that's depressing. <laughs> you, you, you had this whole speech planned out, and you've now completely nosed it up. Oh, what is the thingamabob station? That ah, no, it's gone. <laughs> oh, it's good to be back. Okay, kicking into life is the and you, the eleven forty-seven of Anti West Coast service to Glasgow Central. Next calling point will be Crew.
That's running four minutes late. We are sorry that the 11.50 Avanti went coast service to Manchester City by crew is delayed by approximately 19 minutes. Oh, there's a shock. Right then, kicking into gear now is 390.043 with the 11.52 Avanti West Coast service to London Euston. And there'll be another 390 hot on the heels of this service. Okay, there's <laughs> the irony of a breakdown lorry being taken away on another lorry, passes overhead. We have incoming another West Midlands Railway Class 730 EMU coming from Wolverhampton. That will stay here for a few minutes, then it will head back out to Soho. Very nice, very nice. Right, back over this way to find coming down the fast line, or up the fast line, depending on how your terminology is, uh, is an Avanti West Coast Class 390 Pendolino, complete with a dead bird, going from Glasgow to London. Change three ninety one one five. Okay, the next range of bucket appearance is going to be the twelve oh three cross country service from Bristol Temple Meads to Manchester Piccadilly, and this is worked by two twenty double oh seven. Seven thirty double oh five is now heading back out to Soho. I don't think I've ever been filming in any one day where I've seen so many trains on test. Alright then, the next train to pass by is going to be the Raw Mail 325s going from Shieldmere to Daventry. Zero 011 and zero 015. Okay, the next train to arrive, coming in three minutes late, is the 1200 Cross Country Service from Manchester Piccadilly to Bristol Temple Meads, worked by one of their Super Voyagers. Jolly good. Right, I'll get the number for this when she leaves. Okay, we're ready to depart now. It's going to be the 1200 cross country service to Bristol Temple Meads. As behind me will be an event to West Coast 390 going from London Euston to Liverpool Lime Street. Here she comes. 
392136. Away from the driver there, thank you very much. And this is being worked by 221121. Okay, the next train to make an appearance is going to be the 1211 London North Western Railway service from Birmingham New Street to Liverpool Lime Street, worked by 35404. Nicely. Okay, the next freight train to come through is going to be worked by DRS Class 68 going from Cope Bridge to Daventry. So, purring her way through is 68018. Vigilant. Also coming in is 390-151. Unknown soldier. suspect that's a Manchester service, but uh, I will go and double check for you. Okay, camera ready to depart now, near 10 minutes late is going to be the, sorry, 20 minutes late is going to be the 11.50 of anti-West Coast service to Manchester Piccadilly. And then through the windows. You can just see the outlines of the London North Western Class 730s that are doing the crew to Nuneaton runs. So you've got 730, 205 and 206. Okay, the next freight train to pass by is going to be a GBRF Class 66 going from Hams Hall to Seaforth. So, giving it great guns is 66739. Okay, the next train to pass, well, say pass through, stop here, is going to be the 1224 of Anti-West Coast service from Edinburgh Waverley to London Euston. And this is being worked by 390-040. Lovely job. 
Okay, the next train to arrive is going to be the 1222 Cross Country Service from Manchester Piccadilly to Bournemouth. Very scruffy at the front. Okay then, about ready to depart is going to be the 1222 Cross Country Service to Bournemouth. by 220 031. Okay, then departing now is the 1224 of Anti West Coast service to London Euston. OK, our final train of part one is going to be the 1232 London North Western Railway service from Crewe to London Euston. It looks like that Lead 350 has got some brand new bogeys. So it's 350-112 leading. Yep, brand spanking new bogeys. Very nice. Well, as she comes to a stop, I shall leave it there. Thank you all very much for watching. It is greatly appreciated. If you have enjoyed what seeing this first part, then please do like and subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment. I do go back to them as and when I get the opportunity to. Uh, well, as far as first sessions go, not bad at all. I've seen more test trains than I can shake a stick at. Two 68s, a 56, a 70, various 66s. Uh, I've seen the 325s running around everywhere. All in all, not bad. I was hoping to catch the uh, Allerton to Newport Sims uh, scrap train, but that appears to be stuck at crew for the moment. So whether or not that comes through in part two or I end up missing it during my uh, little break I'm going to have to go get some lunch remains to be seen. But what will be, will be. So yes, hope to see you all in part two for what promises to be a superb afternoon. It always is around here. So uh, until part two, and next time, I shall see you all later. Take care, guys. Goodbye.